Yeah, we've already got, uh, you know, five layers of government above us, you know, the average American, uh, you know, from local all the way up to the world. And, uh, you know, are, are you guys the sixth? It's Ridley O, sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. How does uh, how is Granite State Future funded? Where does the money come from? Um, <laughs> it's funny because everybody keeps asking that, and you all know the answer. But it's um, no, actually I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's a um, uh, it's a good question. It's a valid question, so I, I don't mean that. But um, uh, it is um, funded the region. Pay for everything that happens here. Yes. Okay, That's well, I appreciate, we the, <laughs> I appreciate the transparency and the yeah. upfrontness about that. Yeah. You know, I thought I might have some... Because I've, I've asked a regional planning commissioner some of these kinds of questions, and she just walked off on me. I mean, how, who funds these booths that you guys put up around the state? You know, sir, here, let me give you my card. Why don't you give me a call? Well, so. they, you, I, well, I think they um, feel like you're poking at them as opposed to engaging in a conversation. Well, they're but, poking at me. They took my money. <laughs> so. Well, they're doing work that's in common. And so um, I know that that's like, you know, um, a different view um, than yours. But the regional planning commissions work for local towns. If the towns weren't members of the regional planning commissions, they wouldn't exist. No. So they're doing work that is, you know, impacts the people who show up. So. Does GSF or NH Listen current, currently have a listens have a current contract with the city uh, the town of uh, Pembroke? You mean to be in this space or to do well to Pembroke? do things on behalf of the town of Pembroke? Um, you can go on the Regional Planning Commission site and see which towns are member towns for each planning commission. That's not something I've memorized from mm -hmm. doing this work. How do people, like if they don't like what you guys are doing, and they, we, we, if a politician, you don't like what they're doing, you can vote them out of office. How do they vote you guys out of office if they don't like what you're doing? Well, I mean, what's interesting is that usually you don't like what somebody's doing because you don't like the position that they're taking. We're not taking a position. I mean, this is one project that New Hampshire Listens does. We've done several others, you know, some are regional, some are statewide, some are local. We were here invited by the select board and the people of this town maybe two years ago um, to, to give the people of the town an opportunity to talk about an intersection. A dangerous intersection in town. They invited us in, we helped. Um, they had a conversation they knew they needed to have. It was totally local, totally uh, local control. Isn't, isn't that something and that's, that's how so, that worked. Isn't that something that's very pretty already much already set up to be done at the town level, at town hall, in town meetings? You know, um, I, what I found is that the um, people who were elected, for the most part, that system works, right? But when the towns get stuck and the, even the people who are elected can't make a decision because they feel like, they're between a rock and a hard place. I think that's when our process works best because I, I like it when the government can't make a decision. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> they say that's what made Switzerland great. Bad, bad results sometimes. Or no results, which is better than hurting somebody by taking their money. Now, that's what happens when the government does something. It has always costs something. Except for in this case, they were fixing a dangerous intersection where people were being hurt by dying. So it's mm, sort of yeah. you know uh, it depends on your point of view on that. Well, making an intersection is not. It's not Stalinist. <laughs> uh, one other, let's see, question I know I have one. One more and then I'm going yeah, to be so. happy Take to talk your, to you at the end too. Yeah, I appreciate, but I your, know I appreciate your time and accessibility. It's more than I expected. I really do appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, we've already got, you know, five layers of government above us, you know, the average American, uh, you know, from local all the way up to the world. And, you know, are, are you guys the sixth? And why do we need a sixth? No. Um, you know, we, all we're doing is trying to make it possible for people, local people, to stay engaged in the decisions that are being made in their community. So if people come out, they get to participate in a conversation, not with people who all agree with them. We get together with people who agree with us enough in this country. I think we need to sit and talk to people who we don't agree with sometimes, like I you live, and I. I live to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and I think our process helps with that. The way that the Grand Estate Future has been designed is that the 
the New Hampshire governor, the executive council, all the state senators, the House reps, the town selectmen have no input at all. And um, it's, uh, it's, it augments, you know, government. We're not another layer of government. We're about civic engagement. We believe that people should get engaged in their community, um, talk with others, and pay attention to what's happening. So I actually don't think our feelings are probably that different on that. All right, you're good for your word. You talk to me, and uh, you talk to me for quite a while. I appreciate it, Michelle. Right. See Thanks. you out there. Take care. I, I guess I should let you know. I, I do, like I said, I do probably, I probably will film something that happens in one of the breakout sessions, but it's probably going to be someone who wants to be. Are filmed. you going to stay in a group or? I probably want. I'm not very good at staying. I'm not the stay-at-home type. But I don't think I'm going to jump from group to group. But it's probably going to be one. If you if you're jumping, you need to stay outside of the group. If you if you join a group, or even if you leave one early, which is fine. I mean, you know, but if you start with one and you t talk to them and say, I'm, you know, I'm filming, then it's better to stay. Otherwise, you won't get to jump in and out. You can film. That's not a big but, deal. Yeah. So yeah, just, I might, you know. I might film the second one. Right. I don't think I'm going to try and join four of them. Yeah. Well, we're, because it's about okay, thanks, Michelle. Okay. This Ridley-O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your Bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com.